Hans Wormhat. In this video, I want to talk about how the truth makes all the chaos around you just make sense. And this is probably the easiest example, the most obvious example, says Tranny Land after all, is just thinking of gender norms and not that gender norms are a thing. I think that it's very natural and humans, natural humans, just naturally fall into men. If you're just a natural man, you just exist and you are the way that you are. And same thing for a woman. But a lot of the times for the inverts, it's all an act. Think of big mantras for training land. Fake it till you make it. You know, just go through the motions and all the world's a stage. They're just playing anybody that is a macho. They're just playing some sort of macho persona. They have some sort of image in their mind of what a macho person is, and then they put on that act. That's not genuine. Nobody just naturally has that type of... Nobody just naturally comes off like that. And what what they're building it off of is a bunch of tranny land nonsense. And it's so much chaos because they like to they like to just have this huge show and play both sides and they always have to march forward at the same time so they have to they have to progress the tranny agenda and you have the red lodges and the blue lodges that just like to screech at one another but really in the end they're playing for the same team but if you're just a natural and you're not aware of what's going on it just seems so chaotic so chaotic and you'll get wrapped up in the politics of it, choosing one side that you agree with, even though really no side is correct. And just, this is the easiest example, gender. Let's just think about this and, and talk through it. There's a young Free Martin who loves playing with girly toys and is totally into girly, singy dancey stuff. There's two different scenarios that can happen. And a lot of this comes down to Lodge type behavior. Red Lodge is going to be shaming the child and potentially stepping in and, and removing, taking away the dolls, forcing them to be very stuck in the, like, you got to act like a man. That would be much more Red Lodge type behavior. But then Blue Lodge type behavior is let, let children play with whatever they want to play with. And I would say that's probably the more correct answer, you know, like children are children, just let them do their thing. It doesn't have to, everything doesn't have to be about a gender assignment, especially before these children have puberty. However, so I don't even think that's playing both sides. I think that children are children, let them play with whatever. I think that's pretty standard. But on the other hand, you have people that just go totally nutso in the opposite direction. My mother is a great example where going to going to McDonald's and going through the drive through can just cause a mental breakdown because the person asks how many boys, how many girls, and that just sends sends some of these blue lodgers into a frenzy. Well, what if my girl wants a boy toy? What if my boy wants a girl toy? It's like, sit down. It's McDonald's. <laughs> just relax. If, if your girl wants a boy toy, just say that, say that they're a boy for a second. Who cares? And that's just this plain both sides thing, explaining the chaos. I'm sure that you guys have seen situations like that before, or just these, these super extreme scenarios of out, outwardly coming out and transgendering young children or, uh, you know, other cra people, things that come off as so crazy. I mean, that's still, that is very crazy, but the thing is, is that knowing the truth, there's another layer to all of this stuff. When you're totally in the fog and, and confused, it's, I mean, it's very confusing. But when you understand what's going on, what's going on is an immense number of people have intersex conditions. And there's, and they're hush-hush about it. They don't talk about the secret. And there's varying philosophies on how to deal with this thing. And it really does break down into ideology. And there's so there's two main ways to go about it if you have a free martin who is exhibiting female type qualities nip it in the bud and just make them train them to be a man and raise them as a man give them their enhanced puberty and 
it's all going to work out in the end. That's usually a more Red Lodge type approach. I've even, I grew up in California, so they're even, even the, they just stay quiet. Even the more Red Lodge type leaning people will be more liberal about things. And I just have one instance of somebody I knew that their, their FTM child was so girly, but the, the Rex dad was so relaxed about the whole thing. He was like, oh, don't worry about it. You know, I'm, I'm not worried about it. They'll turn out just fine. And you can tell that they pumped that FTM full of so many hormones. They came out looking like a, like a Disney character. <laughs> and yeah. Anyways, there's two main ideologies going on. You keep this tranny thing totally secret and you make trannies out to be nutcases and mental patients and you follow your strict guidelines and that's more like old school. They, everybody used to act like this, basically. I don't know what the divisions used to be about, but everybody used to act like that. The trannies used to be way better trained in the past. They are out in the open now. <clears throat> and so that's where you get the more blue lodge or progressive approach and on the insane end of the spectrum over there that's people that are just openly my my little boy is really a girl and so what is going on there it's a free martin it's somebody who knows about all these intersex conditions but the first rule of tranny club is you don't talk about tranny club so they can't come out in the open and say my child is a free Martin, suffers from an intersex condition, and I'm going to raise him as a girl. They can't come out and say that because that's the truth. So they just make it into this huge production. And it can be really confusing if you don't really know what's going on. Okay, so that's, I mean, so much stuff makes sense when you wake up to this. That's what all these, all these schools for women, schools for men, schools for boys, school, schools for girls. It was tranny training. And now they're the majority, so they don't even, they are the society, so. <coughs> yes, I let my son wear nail polish. Obviously, more Blue Lodge type behavior. And sometimes it's not even just letting, it would be like pushing. Pushing this type of behavior. There are people out there that they know that they have a free Martin, so they go out of their way to feminize them because that's just how how they approach this agenda. My son really is part female. They're a free Martin, so I'm going to raise them like that. How should I handle a little boy who likes girls' toys? My grandson only likes girl toys. And you've seen that there is kind of an acceptance among a lot of people that they just say that's gay. They'll just say, oh, you know, they were gay and they were born that way rather than come out with, hey, they're a free Martin. And guess what? A lot of free Martins are homo because they're really a, a woman deep down. So they like men or at least part of, you know, however you want to, I don't, I don't really know exactly what it, because they become masculinized. A free Martin is masculinized. It's a masculinized woman. So they do have attraction towards women, but then, you know, this is, this is why people say stuff like, oh, you know, everybody's gay. It's just because this earth is so mixed up at this point that, yeah, I mean, I dated a strat, uh, in utero MTF. That was pretty homo. And I really, if I could go back, yeah, this is why you need to just find a wife and just have sex with just one person your whole life because it's crazy out there. It's gross. Going back to the Red Lodge, Blue Lodge, the both sides of the crazy spectrum are all in on it. They're all inverts. Being born in the wrong body. I'm born in the wrong body. I'm born in the wrong body. That's actually, they're hiding the intersex thing. It's true. It really is true. But then they go so crazy with it that it turns people off of it and again they just like playing both sides because then they can be in control of the narrative no matter what on the other side you have the people yelling out trannies need to go to go kill themselves people 
these people love bringing up the suicide rate of transgenders and all that. And the people doing that are intersex. They're mostly free Martins. So <laughs> I don't know. I guess the point is, at least the way that I used to be, I didn't used to, I would never wish, you shall know them by their fruits. You should You should never tell anybody to kill themselves. That's a disgusting thing to tell another human to kill themselves. That's disgusting. And so even though I did used to think that they were crazy, I used to think trannies were crazy because I didn't know about intersex conditions. But I never bought into the total opposite side of the spectrum, which is all those people yelling, oh, the trannies have mental disorders, they need to go kill themselves, laughing about how often they kill themselves. It's gross, and they're hypocrites, because they're mostly free martins. And it's pretty complicated, too, because, like, that thing on the right just looks like a man. That's just a man. That's not transgender. That's somebody like me who just bought into the Baphomet system, I guess. That's just a man. It's not even an intersex or anything like that. But this is what it is. It's just, this is the big secret. There's tons of people out there that are intersex. I mean, does this person really look any different than anybody walking down the street? There's a million, million people out there that look just like this. It's because you're surrounded by intersex people. Do these people look any more strange than other people walking around? No. Look at the orange background, too. Bright orange background and a 33 in the timestamp. Hi, I'm intersex. They probably look like every other person walking down the street. All right, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope the message was clear. I guess to wrap it up, because there was a lot of ranting, what I wanted to say was... A lot of the chaos, almost all the chaos, it's just these trannies playing both sides. And I feel, you know, sad for people that are born intersex, and but they don't have to be a part of the system and say no to the Baphomet system. The lying and the hand signs, it's childish, it's so dumb. And Jesus Christ is the truth. God bless everybody.